So in today's lesson, we're going to start doing some isometric drawing. What you will need is a pencil, a ruler, and the 30, 60 set square. So it is 30 at this end, 60 at this end, and 90 in the corner. So isometric drawing is a technique that is used to represent things in 3D. We're gonna start by drawing a cube. With your ruler, draw a line across the page. Working in pencil is always best as well in case you make any mistakes. Now, we're gonna use the ruler as a bit of a T-square as well. So, ensuring you've got space just to move your set square across, can you now draw a vertical line six centimeters high? or 60 millimetres. So counting from the very end of the set square up to six centimetres. And then I'm going to move this away. I'm going to flip my set square over so that I'm going to use the 30 degree angle of the end of this point. So our smallest, our most acute point. I'm then going to draw a line up in this direction. I need this line because I'm going to draw a cube to be how long, let's say, I wonder. So if it is going to be 6 or 60 up, I need it also to be 6 or 60 on this line too. So I'm going to repeat this process on both sides to make sort of an arrow. Lining it up, making sure that my ruler underneath is working as a square, a T-square. I'm going to draw my other line. I'm going to mark six centimetres here and place a little dot. Now I need two vertical lines to come up, so I'm going to work with diagonals and verticals. So again, these lines need to be 60. So I need to check that I'm nice and vertical and that I'm intersecting my point that I made on my previous line. The same on the other side. Actually, I'll show you a different technique on this side. So, I know that this line is 60 long. If I keep my ruler nice and straight and I push the set square up, I can ensure that when these two points meet, I could draw another diagonal line. So I can then measure this side 60 as well, or six centimeters. And if I've got them accurate, these two lines should meet up. So let me double check my measurement. Oh, that was a smidge out there. Just a fraction before. Double check this one. That one was a smidge under. Not doing very accurate drawing today. Accuracy is the key to getting the shapes to look nice and perfectly 3D. And then over here, another technique you could use, or if you have a roller ruler, is you could push your ruler up and ensuring that these lines are parallel, which means equidistant at both ends, you could join the line up. Now I need to complete this, the top of my cube. So the same process, I could push the ruler across or I need to find the correct angle over here. Does this look like a square? No. But again, if I use the same process, by putting the ruler underneath to act as what we call a T-square, I can actually push the 30, 60 set square up until the line intersects. But I must double check that my ruler is nice and square with the bottom of the page. So this looks correct. 
believe I might intersect with my title a little bit. And then I can flip the set square over and repeat the process. So lining it up and pushing the set square up until I get to that intersection point. I'm just double checking that my ruler looks nice and straight underneath before I draw my line on. And then voila, if I remove my equipment, you can see I now have the isometric cube. Remembering that each of these angles are 30 degrees. 30 and 30. And what would this be here? I wonder if you can work that out. So that we know 30 plus 30 equals 60. This whole angle here is 180. So 180 minus 60 equals 120. And if I divide 120 by 2, I get 60. So each of these should be 60. Let's double check with the other end of asset square. And it is. Such is the wonder of geometry. That's the end of our first lesson in isometric drawing. Thank you, ladies.